It's Friday, and that means it's time for our regular arts and culture segment. We have our culture correspondent Song Yujin here in the studio. Welcome, Yujin. Good evening, Jongmin. So, what do you have for us this week? Well, Jongmin, as we've seen in the previous reports, today marks the one year since Russia invaded Ukraine, and so I also wanted to bring up this topic in my culture segment this week as well. So, while doing some prior research, I found that a lot of Ukrainian artists, particularly musicians, are actively performing across the globe, raising awareness of the brutal war and paying homage to their country as well. So for this week, I met several of these musicians and listened to their stories. At a concert hall in the South Korean city of Bucheon, conductor Yuri Yanko is busy with rehearsals. The director and chief conductor of Kharkiv Philharmonic is one of the most renowned and decorated musicians of Ukraine. In the past year, his hometown Kharkiv suffered from numerous shellings and bombings from Russia. Though painful, Yanko decided to use his art to defend the honor and glory of his country. On Friday evening, the first anniversary of Russia's war against Ukraine, he'll be performing in front of a Korean audience with the Puchan Philharmonic Orchestra. With this concert, I want to remind people again about Ukraine, about its heroic struggle against the aggressor, tell the world about the problems, say thank you, and ask for help for my country. Yanko is one of the many Ukrainian artists who are spreading messages of hope amid the war. Pianist Anna Fedorova has been organizing dozens of benefit concerts for her home country over the past year. Standing there on stage and to feel this energy from the audience, energy of support and solidarity, and like it was 2,000 people were coming as one. And it was very powerful. And at the same time, of course, the reason was so sad and so terrible. Even children, like the Color Music Children's Choir, have been trying to support their country. The Children's Choir, based in Dnipro, Ukraine, rose to stardom after their cover of British band Coldplay's song went viral online. Because of the war, they had to practice at times in subway stations and rehearsed online for safety. But their determination did not stop them from reuniting and holding charity concerts in Germany and Sweden last year. Everyone needs to understand that war is horrible and not a single child in this world should ever go through this. War should never be an option. With the support of the world, the day of victory for Ukraine will come. Though these artists are performing far apart, they share one thing in common. They'll continue to perform, trying to help heal the scars of war and show the world that Ukraine still stands strong. Eugene. I was really, it was really heartwarming to see all the Ukrainian musicians perform and play with their home country in their hearts and minds. So what was it like meeting them? Well, first of all, it was really hard for me to imagine what these artists have been going through. And that's because um, for us, we've been experiencing the war only through photos and footages. But these artists, they've directly witnessed the brutal violence, um, all the devastating bombings and the battered infrastructure up front. And what's more devastating is that some of these artists still have their family um, staying in Ukraine. For example, a lot of members of the children's choir, they haven't seen their fathers in months because they're currently fighting, Ukra fighting in Ukraine. So I really felt that um, I was really touched and I was at the same time uh, really amazed by how these artists are rallying support for their um, home country at the same time um, after coping with all of these difficult situations that's happening in their home country. I see. And uh, Eugene, I also noticed that the conductor, Ukrainian conductor you mentioned, um, is performing in Korea today. Tell us more. Well, you're right, Jungmin. Uh, the conductor that I met, Yuri Yanko, he is set to perform with the Puchon Philharmonic Orchestra this evening at the Puchon Culture Hall. And the orchestra, they'll be playing the works of Beethoven, including the Heroic Symphony. And the conductor, Yanko, says the program will be in tune with the spirit of the heroic struggle of the Ukrainian people. And also, the Color Music Children's Choir that I mentioned in my report uploaded their cover of the hit song, Obitch 
Kashmi by the legendary Ukrainian group Okian LZ a few hours ago to mark one year of the war. And the choir says that through this video, they want to show that friendship is the most important value in life and hopes that the world will also embrace and help Ukraine as a friend. And I also wish that through today's segment, more of our international viewers will get to know the struggles and efforts of these artists. I think they will certainly do. All right, thanks for the report, Eugene. Thank you.